Celebrating 30 years of phenomenal trend forecasting, here's Gerald Salenti with today's trends in the news. Hi, this is Gerald Salenti, and here are some of today's trends in the news. Well, the markets are flat. Gold, oil, equities, everything is kind of level. Not a lot of excitement going on. A lot of uncertainty. That's the big word these days. They had an IMF meeting with the World Bank over in Tokyo. What was interesting about it is that China didn't show up. That's right. Their top cat didn't go there because of that island dispute. You know, this thing could really heat up into something big. And the United States is behind this, fomenting this pressure against China as it expands its presence throughout the Pacific and Asia. So some of the things that happened there was that it's really important to understand that since the panic of 2008 happened, no actions have been taken against the banks and the financial institutions and the speculators that sparked the crisis. And for doing it, and this has all been forgotten, they've been rewarded with trillions of dollars. So now the economy globally is in a worse recession as we're seeing in Europe, as we see in China, as we're seeing around the world. That's where we're at now, and the big movement is over there in Europe. It's switched right away. And the pressure's on between France and Germany to keep pushing for, and we were the first people that really reported this as it was happening, to establish a new central banking system in Europe. This is from the Financial Times. A separate Eurozone budget, single European banking supervision, binding budget contracts for Eurozone member states, and some form of jointly backed borrowing to finance a Eurozone treasury are on the agenda for the summit in Brussels. Wolfgang Schäuble, the German finance minister, spelt out the maximalist German position yesterday saying that full fiscal union will require EU treaty change at a convention next year. Now check this out. We must now take bigger steps in the direction of a financial union, Mr. Schäuble said, calling for more powers for an economic supremo to veto profligate national budgets. We must use this chance. You get it? The central banks are going to be ruling all of Europe. This is unprecedented. But they put it in this white shoe boy lingo, you know, to make it seem like, hey, we got smart guys that know what they're talking about. We got Wolfgang on the case. But not to worry, Wolfgang. Francois Hollande is picking up the rear. Mr. Hollande has stressed the need for more solidarity to balance the austerity demanded by Germany and is frustrated at the slow progress towards Europeans' banking supervision. Quote, there are clearly differences, according to a Sunny uh, official in Berlin. France wants banking supervision to uh, be agreed and proclaimed by January 1st. It's a new world order. It's the banking order. And over there in Denmark, the party, the Social Democrats, the lowest rating ever. This is the left-leaning party. You know why they're in the toilet with their polls? Because the woman, oh, if only the women were in charge, how things would be different. Oh, lovely, lovely gentle ladies like Hillary Clinton. Oh, not to digress, Hillary took all the blame for the, for the consulate takedown and the embassy's death in Libya. Oh, and then there was wonderful war Margaret Thatcher, a queen of a woman so compassionate for the poor. And not to forget Indira Gandhi or Madeleine Albright. You remember her. Yeah, she was the Secretary of State when asked, 
was the death of 500 million children because of sanctions imposed by the United States and Iraq under Bill Clinton, that other liberal, the death of 500,000 children worth the price of sanctions. A, El Madame secretary said, it certainly was. So, going back now to the woman in charge over there, that other nice lady running the show. There's no difference between men or women. People are people. Stop with this gender baloney. Ms. Thorning Schmidt. The biggest damage to the Social Democrats came from teaming up with the center-right to pass tax reform that benefited some of the biggest earners at the expense of pensions and unemployment benefits. All right? They do it everywhere. The people in power are only serving the most powerful. And then, just a little side note. Remember, we just had one of the hottest summers in history. Just got back from Vancouver. It didn't rain there for 82 days. Everything was sunny. It was like the summer, except when I got there, it rained for four days. But we just had, we're eight, 64% of the U.S. is in drought conditions. We've been spelling it out in the Trends Journal what all this means. As I said, I don't care if you believe in global warming, whether you think of climate change. I, it doesn't make any difference to me. I'm just looking at what's going on and logic. You can't dump trillions of pounds and tons of, and gallons of, of poisons into the air, into the water, into the earth, and into people's bodies without it screwing things up. So, what do we got? September tide global heat record. Okay? Another hot one on record. And then there was the presidential reality show last night. What a show, what a show it was. Obama and Romney clash in debate with biting exchanges, headline editorial and paper record, and newspapers throughout the world. Oh, Obama was aggressive. Hey, were any of them intelligent? Did they come up with it? What a, look at these little boys. This is a high school show. What did they talk about? Gun control. Hey, there are people that are starving, man. I see them out here every day going through the garbage. People my age, younger, older, losing their houses and everything else. Can't find jobs. I'm going to talk about contraception for 20 minutes. Yeah, I wonder why. Maybe because, eh, I can't say it, but both of them, the second word is bags. And that's why they like to talk about. And then they talked about immigration. Oh, yeah, right on the top of the list. What are you going to do to fix the economy? I got a five-point plan. I got a three-point plan. I got a plan. You guys got no plan. Here's the way the thing worked. Some little kid or somebody would ask a question. They would repeat the question and then say, and, and then go off on a campaign speech. All these were, were campaign speeches, the same BS that these clowns have been spouting out for over a year. And who gets to ask the questions? Moderator Candy Crowley or whatever her name is. The prostitutes are running the campaign. They're spending, the campaigns are spending $2.5 billion in advertising. It's a closed show. They give the money to the prostitutes and the prostitutes play like they're journalists. And then after it, a bunch of clowns tell you what you should believe. Aggressive? Look at these little kids. Little boys. Didn't say one thing of any interest. And then I love the question from Barry. Barry. Barry says, you know, there are a lot of misconceptions about both of you. Could each one of you take the time to discuss what those misconceptions are and how you're really the way you're not like the misconception. The world is at war. People can't find jobs. What are you, stupid, Barry? You're going to ask these guys to tell you what jerks they are? 
It was a disgrace. One kid gets up, he says, you know, I'm a college student, I'm afraid, you know, I won't be able to get out of college, I won't have a job, blah, 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 blah. And Romney says, well, when I become president, you get a job. Oh, and Romney was great, man. He was so kind. You know, the slave master in chief, he told about how wonderful he is that he had this person working for him and the woman didn't want to work till 8.30 at night anymore, so he gave a flex time. Oh, what a guy, what a guy. Oh, and then Obama, you know, your future is bright, Barry. Hey, Obama, save it for the kiddies. And the kiddies buy it. They're all buying it. All they're doing is BSing about how tough these guys were with each other. Oh, yeah, what a debate it was. A debate of nothing. Nothing. Not one tangible thing did they say. It was all a repeat of the entire campaign performance. These guys are empty suits that hold deadly weapons. This is Gerald Salenti, and that's today's Trends in the News.